Wow. <laughs> like, wow. Even, like, so intense next to you. <laughs> do you have a skincare channel or do I have a skincare channel? Hello guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> you do it. Hey guys. <laughs> Today's video I have a special, very annoying <laughs> guest. Introduce yourself. I'm Sophie. And? I'm the best sister. Mm -hmm. Love you. Long story <laughs> short, she came here from Australia to visit me and one of our team members suggested because she is I guess you're Gen Z. I'm a millennial. Anyway, so she suggested, why don't you just talk about the differences between millennial skincare routine and Gen Z? So this is just going to be a late night chill session while we put on our routine. Okay, so before we start off with our routine, <laughs> what is your skin type? Well, I thought I was oily combo. And but then. you told me I'm like dry combo. Oh my and god, your pimple's bleeding. I know. It's oh my god, I need to zoom up on this. on it right now. <laughs> it's like <laughs> juicing. <laughs> I am oily and acne prone. You are also acne prone, <laughs> and she's actually currently what? I'm going through my cystic acne phase. <laughs> no, but I do think I am a dry combo because my pores are actually huge because they're probably always, you know. Not enough moisture. Let us start with our first step. Wait, so did you cleanse your face? Yes. What did you cleanse with? <laughs> your CeraVe. Oh yeah! I like that one. Okay, so I have that, um, the green CeraVe. It's great. It's good for like all skin types and that's for the oily skin. So then I'm doing a toning step. Ding! I'm using my favorite that I stole from Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> so proud. <laughs> this is an essential. Wait. Must steal. Okay, but why do you like that one? When I was breaking out really badly, I first used the sheet mask. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, a lot of it just felt a lot more calm. Like my really hectic pimples. Like that were the, like really like, like pulsating. Yeah, like the actual cystic ones that was like a mountain on top of a mountain. Thanks. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I don't think anyone puts their no. on straight on their face. But I don't like how you put it in your palm of your hand and then spread it all over and then it goes through the cracks and then it soaks up all into yeah, the Yeah, but palm. no one's telling you to pour it into the cracks. You no, do but it into exactly. The palm. And then when you do that, it just soaks into the hand and then you waste so much product. Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so you're saying it was like less. I just cannot. <laughs> And then so how does this one differ from the mask or is it kind of the same? The mask is more jelly which I really like actually. This one I only realized that I like because I've used like so many toners and like I... Well actually I really like the quarterly hydrating one. It's like a blue bottle. Oh. I think it's like the only one they have. But I really like that one. If I don't have this I'd be using that one. But all the other random toners that I've used like this one's just like felt the best and like you know, shown more results nice. the next day. Nice. Do you normally put more than one layer on there? In winter, yes. Well, it's winter. Yes. And actually, American winters <laughs> are so much more intense than Australians. <laughs> My face cracked too. Okay, so I am using the good old green tangerine vita C toner pad because you just steal everything. I might as well just <laughs> give it to you ahead of time. These are the travel ones which you can take on the plane because she's mm. actually leaving tomorrow. But I don't know, I just really love the Goodle Green Tangerine line. Like we obviously talked about the serum and a lot of people like the serum, but what actually gets me really excited is their mask and these toner pads because they're like drenched. You can probably put one on top of the thing. Like, feel how nice and dense that is. What do I, do I just... <laughs> what is that? Because I've also been very dry, so I just use two and kind of use it as a mask. Because this is a mask. But why is it only on your cheeks? Oh yes, and then I just like spread it around like, and then you can just play some air hockey with it. A ding, ding, ding. And then spread it all over the face. 
and it like smells really refreshing. So I highly recommend that you guys try their mask. It's just like so instantly brightening and then it feels really nice too. So when it's nice and damp, ding, 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 you kind of just like push it in. Okay, next step. What's your next step? Because I'm like rashing on my face right now. I kind of want to use the ceramide capsule. What? I don't know. Because I actually, you gave me this one, but I don't actually know what's in this one. This one's so good. I gave this to you. What do you mean you don't know? You use the whole thing. <laughs> I know. I've just been using it hoping for the best. Well, what the heck? I, this a week ago <laughs> was full. No. What the heck? Are you spreading this all over your body? Why do you use it so quickly? This one's really good. Like for all the dry and combination skin people out there, even oily, but it's got these volcanic minerals that are specific to Vichy, which is a French brand. And then do you realize when you put it on, it feels a little bit sticky? And then you like let it sink in and then it kind of disappears? Yes. Actually, let me try, I haven't used it for a while. Does that mean my face just soaks everything up? Because I need like two to spread it all over my face. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying I think you're dry. And you know, if you're dry in combination, it means that you're not hydrating it enough. And hydration means water. But I drink three good. liters of water a day. Dude, that's got nothing to do with it. Do you it know should. your water never travels to the skin? The water you drink literally just helps to like cleanse out your internal organs and get that going. You know? But the skin's an organ. Yes, the skin is an organ, but you need the topicals to like replenish the water. No matter how much water you drink, it will basically never be able to reach the surface of your skin to kind of like hydrate it. I'm a bit scared to layer on Look serums. at you stealing all my serums. Okay, no, I actually bought that one by myself. False, I gave you this. No, because I, I saw it in clearly. your room. I brought that with me from Australia. You saw it in my room and then you just took it. No! Oh, and I gave her this Manyo Bifida Biome Complex Ampule. Okay, out of that whole name, what do you understand? Absolutely nothing. I understand that it's complex. <laughs> the biome, like microbiome, our skin is an ecosystem of bacteria and so it helps to strengthen the healthy bacteria on your skin barrier. Mm -hmm. And the ampule just, it's basically like a skin strengthening serum. You need to try this one actually. The Ceramide Retinol Night Serum. <gasps> Ooh, I haven't used anything from Elizabeth Arden for so long. Well, okay, this actually works because this is retinol, right? Line erasing night serum. So retinol is really great for acne prone skin as well because it helps to control your sebum Which helps with the pimples and stuff and also the size of your pores. So I was gonna use this different gel um, Because my cyst dude, it must be because you're here and you're like a bad omen I tell you because my cystic acne has been coming back Well, it goes my place because I've never gotten a rash on my face before in my life are just haunting my soul and my skin. Oh, you What's should actually the get this. Between yours and mine, then? Oh my god, this is the Epi Duo. So she's on the pill and using Epi Duo to control the even... cystic acne. This is benzoyl peroxide and adapalene. <coughs> so what this is, this is also adapalene, right? This is 0.1%, and this is the highest you can get over the counter without being prescribed. The Epi Duo, which is that's 0.1% adapalene, which is the same as this, but it's also got 2.5 benzoyl peroxide, which is chrysal. Oh my god, you better not stain my sheets. You know this stuff? It's like, it, it, what do you call it? It, um, bleaches. Yeah, I know, it bleached my sheets. Oh my <laughs> god! And I was wondering why. I was like, is this just dried up saliva? Or <laughs> actually works because when I get like hectic six like cystic pimples I put it on and it's like calm wait so do you use that over? Only, I only yeah I put the serum on first and then I put this on after wherever I have like pimples that's kind of how I use this adapalene thing you should actually buy this so you don't have to keep going back to the thing and getting it because this is the same 0.1 adapalene gel which is a retinoid which means that it doesn't have to convert on your skin to become retinoic acid for the skin to absorb because if you use retinol it is more gentle but it has to go through a two-step process to become retinoic acid for the skin to kind of absorb so that's why adapalene is great can you get that in Australia no America! 
<laughs> so like this is supposed to go all over the face, but I just want to try this. That's why. Yeah, try that. No, it's actually a really good. Ping! How cute is this? Is this a one-time use? Yes. Ooh. This consistency is so nice. <gasps> it's like a mousse. Mm. It's like velvety. Yes. <gasps> it's so nice oh to put on. Oh my god. It feels very um. Wow. Did rich. mom put you onto this? She did. Oh my god. <laughs> I just feel this and I'm like, this is a mom product. But I'm surprised it works for like young people's skin. Well, because it's just all about the ingredients. It's just like Elizabeth Arden really didn't do well in marketing to young people. But I enjoy this very much. <gasps> Wow, I might have to go and get this. Yes. Mum, the real influencer of us all. <laughs> so that was our serum step. So what does serum step do? Good it time. adds all the necessary nutrients and whatever like healing ingredients that your skin needs. It's pretty good. B, yes. B plus, it's active ingredients. Active ingredients, yes. there we go. To heal the specific skin concerns that you have, which is why we used retinol this time. Mm. Very nice! Okay. So I actually am a bit confused because of course you I are. want to. You are a Gen Z, of course you're confused. <laughs> Normally I would put on the eye cream now and then I put on the moisturizer, but I actually don't know if it's that way or if it's the other way around. Sometimes if I don't use an eye cream, which is like a lot of the times <laughs> yeah. I'm just lazy. actually she is way more diligent with her skincare than i am with my skincare no one knows this facts yes but i am very stream let's call it streamline <laughs> <laughs> i come back wash my face put on one moisturizer and i'm like <sighs> going back if i moisturize then i'll kind of just like depending on the moisturizer i don't really put it near my eye but then you can if it's like a simple moisturizer so then this would be technically moisturizing enough that I don't need one moisturizer over. Yeah. Otherwise you're just moving that all around. Yeah. Well, you don't want to waste the product that you stole from me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, I this was it. actually necessary because I very much like this one. Great. Is it? The Black Tea from Fresh. Wow. What very a carbon nice. copy of <laughs> me you are. Because in my videos, I say that is actually my favorite eye cream. Okay, well, you're not getting this one back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it feels good when you put it on, like the texture. Yes. Wait, I want some. It's got fermented black tea in it. And what does that do? The process of fermentation, um, it's kind of like kombucha, right? Kombucha yeah. extracts a lot of different, like, additional nutrients from the ingredients that mm -hmm. your skin can absorb much easier than if it was just, like, without it. Not to say that you know everything needs to be fermented or anything but yes it's just better yeah it kind of like makes the ingredient exponentially like more kind of powerful Damn, you put that on way too fast <laughs> dude how much did you use not enough and probably from my peripheral vision you were way too rough <laughs> no it was not yes. it's called efficiency and plus i just dabbed away meanwhile <laughs> you use like half the jar already no i didn't and my skin needs it it's literally very dry okay so this is the pharmacy honey halo one of beauty within teams favorite moisturizer and i gave this to you because i think this consistency is just perfect yes mm. it's truly amazing like, yeah my skin wakes up and it's not like pulling yeah because it's got ceramides it's got honey and all of that just protects the skin barrier as well meanwhile i am using something that i haven't used for years and it's the ven concentrated revitalizing lifting mask and guys this consistency is so beautiful and for those of you who haven't tried ven they're kind of specialized ingredient and what they um, spend most of their time researching and what they've innovated with is the compound K which is a type of ginseng extract which gives you the same effects that vitamin C does but without the irritation so I'm using that and it's so creamy 
That's the next thing I want to try. Ready? Well, of course you do. <laughs> you know how luxurious <laughs> this has. You actually had me at ginseng. Oh, it's so smooth. It's, it's like so smooth. It's even like even more silky, like ice skating. Yes, it's and it's like amazing. I don't know it, but it feels very like a hug on the face. Mm. Yeah, but and like it so doesn't light. have a strong smell. Well, it doesn't have any smell. Actually, what is like New York made you appreciate about home? And then like, what do you appreciate about New York that home doesn't have? It was definitely a shock to the system seeing the lifestyle that is lived <laughs> in New York. You know, the life waits for no one or whatever the saying is yes here it really is like that like, yes you waste a moment of your time and, and that opportunity is gone gone it's really work hard play hard here yes. whereas australia is work a little bit hard play a lot well yes the whole standard of living in australia is just very different <sighs> it's actually really fun here because Anytime like you walk down the street, there's always something to do, something to see. While you were talking before, I was using the Cioris More Than Lips Lip Balm. And this is Beauty Within's favorite lip product. Mm -hmm. And like, you'll realize why after you put it on. This is so good. It feels nice. Yeah. Mm. It's like a thick balm, but not sticky. What does it have in it? I'm not telling you anymore because you're just gonna take it. <laughs> you have one? No, I don't. So how I finish all my routines these days because of my cystic acne. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this and just dab it over the big lumps on my face. Here, try. Mm, I'm scared because I already put that on. No, put it on that. Can I actually mix both of those? Well, that's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the thing is, I would probably recommend against it, only because retinol and BHA can be a little bit too irritating, but I know for me, I can use both of them together. But I just have to like, that's why I use this, otherwise it will be dry. Oh. You know? Because it's kind of like a game where like, if you have more drying ingredients, like retinol, or retinoic acid or whatever, especially if you're using prescription stuff, mm. I always like to balance it with like a good, very nourishing moisturizer at the end and very simple and not play around with other things. Yeah, yeah. not same. So then what That's else would you like same. to share with the clan? Okay, let's be real. I feel like my generation is very much into their skincare more than you were at my age. That's true. They got fast tracked into being learning like the makeup and skincare. Like what I knew when I was 25, people know when they're 15. Yeah, but I also think that's because like now we have like YouTube to find like channels like yours and like other people's to like learn, whereas you literally just learn from your mom. Yeah. Do you share beauty within videos to your friends? Of course. I actually showed all of my friends and they're like, oh my god, that's your sister. You guys have the same mannerisms. And I'm like, really? The, I think that's actually just an Aussie thing. Yeah, maybe. Aussie! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! I actually, when I do that. first saw, heard her speak again, I was like, wow, my accent is actually gone. It was a sad <clears> moment. As with any guest who comes on the show, the question is, what does beauty within mean to you? Oh, what is beauty within? Beauty within, oh my god, you literally put me on the spot. I'm like sweating on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see oh that? Oh my god, you're full sweat. Oh, I'm stressing out. Oh, this is gonna give me another bimble in the morning. <laughs> um, I don't know, just feeling like beauty within. I don't know how to explain it in English. <laughs> okay, I'll do live translation. Um, I don't know, when they draw your hole from like sun hai jiao ho from inside and then like selflessly showing that. Okay, so doing things from the heart <laughs> and then it shows on the outside. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Anyone who understands Cantonese is gonna be like, oh that was the my most god. Butchered translation yes. ever. <laughs> but you get in my gist. Your translation was right. Okay, you you wrap it up. Um, well this has been our skincare routine for the night. Why are you talking like that? 
Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Like it's a Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we focus. Wait, your big head is blocking my candle on the table. But the table just looks messy. <laughs> Why do you have so many of my products? <laughs> because I watch your videos. No, I want them all. <laughs>